Armenia led me to Julie Numar. For the three of you who don't know, Julie Numar was the original Catwoman. Those in the under 40 crowd, you might remember her from the 1995 hit film with Patrick Swayze in drag to Wong Fu, thanks for everything, <laughs> Julie Numar. You're happy I reminded you about it because you forgot, didn't you? But let me establish the importance of Julie Newmar to me. See, when I was 14, I developed hips, way ahead of my friends, and I was terribly self-conscious about it. At the same time, I was really into old movie stars, and I happened across this photo of Julie Newmar in her signature role, Catwoman. And I thought, look at this saucy lady. She has hips, and she's using them to her advantage. And it gave me this sense of self-confidence that I hadn't known about my own body. It was cool. So 10 years later, I did what any hippie woman would do, and I joined the Peace Corps. I was stationed in Armenia, and in my village, nobody spoke English. So I became um, exceedingly proficient at Armenian. Alajan Aiskhosk Kez Hamar. When you speak Armenian, you are embraced by an ancient people. Whether you're Armenian or not, I unfortunately am not. But I know when I'm in an LA cab and I see the cabbie's name ends in I-A-N, I'm about to make a lifelong friend. Because the first hello, Borevdez, quickly turns into, come to my home, meet my family, marry my cousin. <laughs> they are an incredibly hospitable people. Oh, right, so uh, Peace Corps, right. Two years, lived over there, helped save the world, taught kids nutrition, helped prevent HIV. You get the drill, right? I saved the world. Now, on to the topic of tonight, Catwoman. About a year ago, I was newly single and also planning a trip back to Armenia to visit my host mom. And um, I needed to practice my Armenian. The best place to do this is Glendale outside LA. And it was great because I got to go there for a conference. I work at Social Advocates for Youth, where we help youth find housing, counseling, and jobs. Work plug. So I'm in LA. I run into a friend, and he invites me to a spin class, so LA. And while spinning, I find out his boss is Armenian. So I meet his boss, and I say, Borev Dez. And his boss invites me to his home to meet his family and marry his cousin. <laughs> While talking myself out of marrying his cousin, which I'm good at doing by now, he invites me to a fundraiser the next day at Julie Newmar's home. <sighs> so there I am, in Julie Newmar's garden in my brand new yellow suede sandals with matching purse and this fabulous dress with these ruffles that accentuated my hips. And I was sipping my mimosa by the waterfall, thinking, I am in heaven, because I'm laughing with the cast of Young and the Restless. By Tayastan of Elilava, by Vons. So, then the moment comes when I get to meet Miss Newmar. And I take this once in a lifetime moment and I tell her how at 14 she changed my life. This picture of Catwoman gave me a, a sense of self confidence about my sexuality that was budding. And she smiled demurely and beckoned me, Come closer. And she said, You know, I've slept with a lot of men. <laughs> And I'm like, oh my God, wherever this is going, it's totally awesome. She continues. And I can tell you that the secret to love and happiness, I don't have time to tell all of you, but she told me. And then I stood up afterward and I said, Miss Numar, thank you. I mean, you've given me a gift at age 14. <laughs> You gave me a sense of self-confidence I had never known, and now here at 32, you are doing it again. Thank you for everything. So, I can tell you the secret she told me worked, because I'm not single anymore. And it's not the Armenian cousin. I just want to say thanks to all of you, and I want to say thanks especially to Carrie, Rebecca, Eric, and Los Angeles, and of course, Julie Newmar. <laughs> 